Flepsy. Today I'm going to be filming my pickups for September and October. Um, I know it's been a while since my last video. Again, school is just kind of crazy. I'm in my last year of university and we've got a whole bunch of um, like clinical experience they need us to do. So right now I have school stuff Monday to Friday plus assignments and stuff on top of that. So. I think, unfortunately, this is probably going to be the norm for the next little bit. Um, just videos like every few weeks or once a month, um, just until like school kind of calms down, which will probably be a while. So yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't plan on stopping videos, I just don't have as much free time as before to make them. Uh, so yeah. Um, I guess I'll just get started. I picked up a ton of volumes um, over the past two months. I definitely have not stopped reading manga, that's for sure, or purchasing it. Um, so I'll just show you, I guess, the ones that I've been continuing, and then I did start some new series, so I'll show you those um, in the later part of the video. So the first series that I picked up as a continuation is The Heroic Legend of Arslan, um, and this is volume four, and I got volume five. Uh, you may notice that this is a different camera. Hopefully the quality is a little bit better. I had got a new cell phone, and that was one of the things that they advertised is that the camera was really good. Um, so I'm trying that out today. I think I'll have to probably buy a tripod or something for it, but um, <laughs> I've rigged up a contraption to make it uh, film properly in the meantime. Uh, next thing I bought is volume three of The Water Dragon's Bride. I really like this series. Each volume seems to be getting better and better, so I'm really excited to read more of this. Uh, it is really slow to come out. Um, but it's, it's really good. And then another series that I'm really, really enjoying is Dream and Sun. I think I've talked about this one as well in my last few pickups. Um, so it's a really good series too. Really cute. Um, it's not even a love triangle anymore that's going on in here. I think it's like a square or like a trapezoid or something, but it's sweet. Um, it's all about like young kids and like their silly romances but like it's not in a way that you get like sick of it I don't know I think it's done well it's really cute um oh and then uh this one I actually finished the series which I'm kind of sad about I didn't want it to end right away but I got my love story so I think in my last video I ended up purchasing volume 12 without thinking that or without noticing that I didn't have volume 11 uh, so I finally got volume 11, and then I also picked up volume 13. This is a weird cover. I'm not sure how fond I am of the art on this cover, but um, I actually ended up reading this last volume last night uh, at like midnight because I wanted to know how it ended. It's a really sweet ending. Um, I thought it was cute. The whole series is just really adorable. Um, really happy and uplifting and just the most adorable romance ever so I liked that series um, and then in September they ended up having a huge sale at chapters which is where I buy a lot of my manga from um, either chapters or Amazon um, but chapters had a sale where it was buy one get one 50% off and then on top of that they have <clears throat> rewards points so you got like bonus reward points as well. So I ended up buying a ton in that sale, which is where the majority of this manga comes from um, in my pickups. But I decided to finish purchasing Kamisema Kiss. So I got volume 20, volume 21, volume 22, and 23, which is where I've read up to. I haven't finished it, reading it yet. Uh, so I have 24 left to read, 
and I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, this is volume 25, but I ordered a, I don't know if you can see it on the spine there, a limited edition. So this is a special cover. And then what came with that is a um, extra book and it's got uh, some character art. It's really tiny though. I was surprised at that. Um, like I thought they were going to have full page character art, but it's just a bunch of like teeny tiny little pictures. I was looking for, um, like they do have some bigger pictures in here, but I thought like the whole thing was gonna be like this, but I guess not. Oh well, there's still some really cool pictures. Yeah, and then it actually comes with a bonus epilogue chapter, which I don't really want to look at because I haven't read the end, <laughs> so I don't want to know what's in there just yet. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to read that and finish the series because it's a really cute series. Um, it's like a rom-com, uh, like fantasy series. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Uh, then next up, I got volume 12 of One Punch Man, because you always have to buy more One Punch Man. Um, and it's still really good, although I'm so angry the next volume doesn't come out until March. Um, I love this series. I wish there was more content in each volume, and I think I've said this before, where, you know, I read it and it feels like not that much actually happened per volume. Uh, which is kind of frustrating. I don't know if I'm the only person uh, that feels that way, but like we've been in the martial arts tournament um, for how many books now? And I think Saitama's only fought like once or twice and there haven't even been like that many battles. It's just when like he walks up to an opponent and like punches them and I think he's only had like a couple battles that I can remember. So... I don't know, I'd just love to see like a volume that just focuses on the martial arts tournament and just gives us that whole thing or like on another storyline instead of like giving us little teeny snippets of each storyline. Again, it's an amazing series, I love it so much, but just, yeah, that's, that's my one thing. Um, then the next thing I bought is volume six of Everyone's Getting Married. I really like this series still. Um, this volume was really funny. Uh, I really like where the author is going with it, and she's got a love triangle in this one, but again, it's not the kind of, like, really annoying, like, that you're fed up with kind of love triangle. I like their sense of humor. It's pretty witty and funny. Yeah. Okay, uh, so next up is volume three of Flying Witch. This is a really cute story. There's not much of a storyline, which is a bit of a downside for me, but I still like it regardless. Um, the art is really pretty, especially these covers. I'm in love <laughs> with all of their covers, which is, I think, the reason I bought volume one in the first place. Um, and then the art inside is pretty good too, so yeah. And it's just a really cute story about um, a young witch, this girl who's asleep in the back there, who's moved away from home to learn how to practice magic. I guess that's just a tradition um, for young witches is that they move away from home to learn um, somewhere else. So she's moved into the countryside uh, with her cousins, who this is one of them, and that's her sister somehow. They don't look related at all. But anyway, yeah, it's a really cute series. Um, Nothing too intense, but still, it's good for like a relaxing read. Um, and then the next thing that I got is volume two of A Girl from the Other Side. This one is really, really good. Um, I can't wait for the next volume. Um, like I said in the first one, it has a lot more plot line than I was really expecting. I was actually um, thinking this would be like Flying Witch, where it was just a bunch of like cute little stories put into one volume, but no, this has a really good storyline. It's really intriguing, um, and I'm, I'm really excited for the next volume, which should be out now, so it will be in my next haul video. Um, and then I got 
volume 7 of Barakemon. As I've said before, this has kind of replaced Yatsuba for me since there's no more Yatsuba volumes. Um, and this one, again, has a storyline, which is something that appeals more to me. So I'm really liking uh, this series. It's cute, it's funny, um, but then it has a really interesting storyline that I, you f I find myself cheering for the main character. <laughs> so, well, actually all of the characters, like even this guy um, in this volume, I really liked. And then I got volume eight as well. Uh, and then this is the other big thing I got from the uh, chapter sale. Oh, I don't know if they're in order. Yeah, is um, one of the th series I really wanted to finish was Neon Genesis Evangelion. So these are kind of expensive volumes, so I took advantage of that sale and I decided to get the whole series. So there's um, four, five, and six. This is seven, eight, and nine. 10, 11, and 12. And 13, 14, 15. Or no, sorry, 13 and 14. There is no 15, because this one's kind of thinner. Yeah, I read the whole series. Um, it was really good, just the ending kind of lost me. Um, I will freely admit, probably the whole last book, I didn't really get what was happening. Maybe I'm not reading into it um, as deep as you should, or maybe I'm missing some connections that should be drawn. Um, but there were there were some questions that I was left with at the end. Again, I'm not going to give out any spoilers, and it definitely was a good series. I just... Yeah, it was a little different. It wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting like a straight up mecha series with like some emotions on the side and then it by the end of it it got like purely into like a psychological kind of manga where it was all about emotions and stuff like that and really didn't have any of the mecha in my mind. So yeah, it wasn't what I was expecting. It was good, don't get me wrong. It was just different and the ending was a little confusing. Yeah. Uh, so now we'll get into um, series that I started that are new. And the first one I have for that is Tokyo Ghoul Re, which I don't think that should be a surprise to anyone. Um, this f felt and seemed way different than Tokyo Ghoul to me. Just the whole attitude of it when I was reading it, if that makes any sense, was just much different. Um, I, I'm intrigued as to where it's going to go. Um, something that happened, I think, near the end of this volume was really interesting. Yeah, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but like this last part of it was really interesting and I want to see where they go with that and I'd love some more backstory because there's a big time skip, I think, between this volume and um, the end of Tokyo Ghoul. So I'd love some more backstory into what happened um, in between those uh, these time periods. Yeah, and it's, it's interesting. I will definitely be picking up the next volume when it comes out. Uh, and then something else I started is Land of the Lustrous. And this is another really intriguing series. I got volume one. The cover is really pretty. Uh, the art style is different. I'm not a giant fan of the art style. It looks, everyone looks a little too similar for my taste, but, uh, and then I got volume two as well. But the story itself is what's really intriguing me. Um, it's very different. <laughs> it's not something I ever would have thought of, but um, yeah. I really want to figure out what's going on in this world. The whole world is a mystery and I don't really understand it. So it's it's really interesting. I'm just trying to see if I can find 
an example of the art style with a bunch of different characters. Mm. I guess this is kind of a good, um, well actually, here, yeah, there we go. So this is the character index. So a lot of them, it's basically their hair is what distinguishes them from each other. They're all dressed the same, they all have the same body type, but their hair is different. Um, but unfortunately with that, like when you're in your non-colored um, manga panels, like trying to figure out who's who can be a little difficult. Um, oftentimes, I just kind of guess at who they are, or they're just like some other character. So yeah, it's a good series. I like them. I wish the art was a little different, a little more um, defined, if that makes any sense. But the story itself is really interesting. So I'm excited to read more of that and see where it goes. And then the final series that I picked up, um, I got quite a few volumes of, uh, is Princess Jellyfish. Um, I got this first volume and I am absolutely <laughs> in love with this series. This I can totally relate to. Um, although I feel like I might be a bit of a mix between the two because I'm... I'm a total nerd, but I still am kind of girly, like, I, I definitely know what makeup is and style, so, yeah, it's really interesting to see the two, um, like, really contrasting viewpoints of these two characters kind of come together in a friendship and work together towards a common goal, um, I really like this series, it's, it's so sweet, and, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, so I picked up volume one, volume two, volume three, and volume four. And volume five is in the mail. So yeah, it's a really good series. It's really sweet, really cute. Um, and I like it a lot. So yeah, that's everything I picked up for the past two months. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will try my best to respond to them. I really like reading them even if I don't get back to you. Um, so thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!